We've asked some of PAC's top supporters and partners to share a few highlights of the incredible results PAC has achieved over the years to build a healthy, just community with opportunities for all. We'd like to hear from Susan Hammer. Hi, uh, I'm Susan Hammer and I'm a longtime PAC supporter. No surprise, I'm sure, to many of you here. Uh, when I was mayor, PAC led a campaign to make San Jose one of the most youth-friendly communities in the country. PACT initiated the creation of after-school after homework centers, a skateboard park, and community centers. PACT also initiated the establishment of the San Jose Mayor's Gang Task Force and the BEST program, which funded gang prevention and intervention programs. I'm proud to be a community builder with PACT. I'm Carla Rodriguez Lomax with PG&E, and I am so impressed with PACT's voter engagement work. Last year, working with local partners at the Pico California Network, PACT helped with Prop 30 to bring over $6 billion to schools and public safety, health and social services throughout California. PACT also supported the effort to raise the minimum wage in San Jose, and now the state is following our lead. I'm proud to be a community builder with PACT. My name is Ben Field. I'm the executive officer of the South Bay Labor Council. I'm impressed by PAC's work to protect public safety by promoting understanding between the community and law enforcement, especially immigrants and communities of color. PAC has helped initiate new policies and practices and is now working with allies to protect the Santa Clara County detainer policy. By building partnership and trust between the community and law enforcement, PAC is making our community safer and more welcoming for all residents. This is really important community building. I'm Mary Ellen Fox, and Mike and I have been longtime supporters of PACT because PACT expands access to so many vital resources for hundreds of thousands of people in our community. For example, PACT is organizing to make our valley a more supportive community for senior citizens. We're all getting older, <laughs> and, and the, but there is going to be a huge demographic shift in the next few years. And, um, the senior population will double. PACT is working with partners and local government to make sure that seniors have access to all the supports that they need. Mike and I are, are proud to be supporters of PACT in this community. Hi, I'm Mike Fisher. I'm here representing Joe and Nikki Parisi and Therma. We congratulate the Sobrato family for being honored for all their great work to this community. We also congratulate PAC for their track record of creating major changes that benefit thousands, often millions of people, especially children. In 2001, PAC co-founded with other community partners the Santa Clara County Children's Health Initiative that has provided health care for nearly 150,000 children in our community. That's powerful community building. I'm Barbara Avery, Director of Community Benefit at El Camino Hospital, and we want to congratulate um, Jose Antonio Vargas for your wonderful leadership in um, raising awareness about the tremendous contributions of immigrants. And I'm a big fan for a long time. <laughs> Um, I'm inspired by PAC's work with the PICO National Network and many allies to organize for inclusive immigration reform to pathway to some 11 million aspiring Americans. This is really important community building work for our whole country. Hi, I'm Reverend Dana Bainbridge from First Christian Church in downtown San Jose, and I've been a PAC leader for four enriching years. We've been working to improve public transportation for low-income residents because transportation is the foundation for access to opportunity. This year, we're excited to share that we worked with public officials and VTA staff to win $1.3 million for VTA to launch a low-income fare pilot project. Investment in transportation can be a powerful force in creating social equity so I'm proud to be a packed community builder. 
I'm Carmen Castellano, president of the Castellano Family Foundation. I want to add the congratulations from the Castellano family to the Sabato family and to Jose Antonio Vargas for the recognition they're receiving today. Thank you all for sharing some of PAC's achievements over our 25-year history. We're about solving tough issues, not just talking about them. Packed grassroots leaders have improved the lives of hundreds and thousands of people. Of course, we still have work to do to create a more just community. We have a vision of a valley where all children can go to excellent public schools that prepare them for success in college and then lead my beloved Silicon Valley. We will continue to be the driving grassroots force behind closing the achievement gap in Santa Clara County. We envision a valley where everyone has access to quality, affordable health care and support systems for healthy living and healthy aging. We envision a valley where all families live in safe neighborhoods with stable housing and the opportunity to provide for themselves. And we envision a valley where all members of our diverse community are welcome, respected, and valued for their contributions. No immigrant should live in fear or in the shadows. If you aren't already involved, we invite you to join us in making this vision a reality. Together, it is possible. Si se puede.